Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics, and I'm back. It's February, so you know what that means. My favorite video of the month, the Beer and Comics. Interested in seeing what I picked up this month in the unboxings? Stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Like I said, it's my favorite video of the month, the beer and comics. And uh, it's February. We're still in that winter season. We're still getting some good cold beers. So hopefully I get a stout or two or an ale, something that gets me right in that, you know, holiday season. So uh, that winter season, you know, those great, great flavors. So uh, what am I drinking today? Cheers. I got a nice little uh, Moon Knight cup. This is from my buddy Karate Kevin. Cheers. This was actually one of my Scottish ales that I got in uh, January's Beer and Comics. So uh, if you're interested in seeing that, you got the link there in the that I'll drop as well. So I got two packages in the mail. All right, of course, the beer package. And just one unboxing this, this month. So, um, you know, it's getting into that time of the year, uh, approaching tax season. So I don't try to buy too much stuff. Um, more so trying to save up. You never know. Uh, but there was this one auction that I was following during, uh, I want to say it was early December. And a pretty, pretty good uh, collection of books that were going up for auction. I was uh, trying to find a really cool Christmas cover. So ended up finding a Christmas book. I was eyeing about three books that I was, you know, and ideally you don't want to try to buy <laughs> Christmas books during the holidays because they tend to be a little bit more inflated, but this is a golden age book. Sometimes it can be a little different. So I'm going to show you what I picked up and then I'm going to open up some beers and uh, let's see what we get. All right, so if you watched any of these uh, segments before on my channel, we always start with the beer first. And then uh, we open up a book or books um, midway. Since there's only going to be one book, we're going to open it up immediately after the uh, beer, the first two beers, and then we'll uh, finish it off with the last two beers. So with any of these beer subscriptions, you uh, typically get two micro craft breweries. More often than not, breweries you've never heard of. And it's always craft beer. None of that big commercial stuff. So uh, if you guys are a big Bud Light, Coors Light type of guys, you're not gonna see this on this channel. Not that there's anything wrong with those beers. It's just that it's not much, much of a mystery getting a, a Bud Light in an unboxing. All right, so what we got? We got, there you go, Malt of the Earth. And it tells you the two breweries, Living the Dream Brewing Company out of uh, Littleton, Colorado, and uh, Dick's Brewing Company out of Centralia, Washington. Um, neither one I've heard of. I did spend a little bit of time when I was in Denver, not too far from Littleton. Uh, but I have not heard of this brewery, so uh, very interested in checking out that one. All right, so uh, let's open it up. We'll get first. We got <laughs> Dick Danger Ale. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Dick's Brewing Company, established in 94. This is a 5.2% ABV. All right, so it's um, Dick's Brewing Company, and it's 5.2% uh, <clears throat> ABV. Uh, I don't know, label uh, could be a little better, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, there you go, there's the first beer. <clears throat> and then we'll get one from the uh, other brewery. So this is from Living the Dream Brewing Company out of Littleton, Colorado. And uh, what we got? Fly Real Amber. 
traditional amber ale. <clears throat> this is 4.1% uh, ABV. That's pretty cool. Got the whole like uh, fishing thing there. Uh, deep in color and perfectly balanced with Colorado root, shoot, malt, and hops. This dry crisp amber is perfect for ale lovers and anglers alike. There you go. So uh, those are your uh, first two beers. Now we're going to switch to the comic books, like I said. And uh, just one book this month. And uh, it's not like when you do like mystery boxes and stuff like that pay a hundred bucks and you get a bunch of books. This was just one big purchase. I believe this cost me almost 500 bucks, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this was from, like I said, in an auction house in, uh, I think Comic Connect, is that right? I wanna say Comic Connect. Uh, they do auctions frequently. And this was um, part of the Bobby Blue collection. And I couldn't tell you too much about the Bobby Blue collection, but they had a bunch of uh, this individual's books in there. So they called it the Bobby Blue Pedigree Collection. <clears throat> and uh, ended up purchasing one of those books. There you go. Looks like it's packaged white. Um, yeah, so it is Comic Connect. But uh, paper here. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. And this was, when did I purchase this? Wow, December 11th. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, they said usually about three weeks or so before they you get them. And this was like a little over a month. So uh, they're a little slow, a little slow on the uh, shipping department. I don't know why. Maybe they need to work on that. But uh, yeah, I received this book, I want to say mid-January. But uh, that's fine. All that matters is the book is here. So I know if this was on eBay, they'd be hearing all a bunch of crap. But it's a little different when it's an auction house, I guess. All right. So like I said, this is a golden age book. And it's a holiday cover. Um, there's no, I don't think there's anything else other than that to it. All right. Oh, they actually used all this blue painter's tape too. Look at that. Bear with me. I almost got the book out. A lot of painter's tape. Alright, what do we got? The book in question. I oh, should probably take it out of the sleeve too. It's gonna be all sorts of uh, glare. Alright, here we go. Boom. Green Lantern, issue number 18. So real early. There you go, I got a nice view right there. And uh, this is from the winter, they just say winter, the winter of 1945. <clears throat> and it's also notated the Bobby Blue Collection. So uh, like I said, I'm not familiar with what the Bobby uh, Bobby Blue Collection entails. Um, I believe Swaggle House also did an unboxing from that same auction and he also got a Bobby Blue book as well, or he talked about a Bobby Blue book, so maybe Maybe he knows a little bit more, but I'm not really too familiar with what the uh, collection is all about. But um, this is a Paul Raymond cover. Classic Christmas cover. And it's featuring uh, Green Lantern, Alan Scott. And yeah, it's just a great cover. It's a uh, 4.0 cream to off-white pages, which is fine. And um, I do love the Green Lantern Golden Age trade dress. It looks really cool. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather as well. So it may sound like my voice is chopping up a little bit. <clears throat> but um, I do like that uh, trade dress. It looks really cool. It pops. And um, 
says Henry Kuttner and Alfred Betzer's story, Martin Nodell art, and Paul Reinman cover. There's the back. A little Tootsie Roll advertising. Oh boy. <laughs> That's really cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Like I said, one of my focuses this year is going to be trying to pick up some more uh, DC Golden Age. And there's uh, my first one. So there you go. Green Lantern issue number 18. Hope you guys enjoy that as much as I did. <clears throat> and we're going to finish off with the last two beers. What do we got? All right. So the last one from uh, Dick's Brewing. <laughs> cream Stout. There you go. You got a bowl on there. So you got a cream stout from Dick's Brewing Company. This is 5.5% um, ABV. Very cool. And then the last beer from Living the Dream Brewing Company is Powder Run. That's actually really neat. I do like the label on that. I'd probably say this brewery that I've gotten from my uh, Beer Mystery Unboxing is probably has the best labels. That's pretty neat. I like that. And obviously, if you know Colorado, it's synonymous with skiing. Great, great mountains there. So this is a cream ale with vanilla. And it's a 5% ABV. And it even says it on there. Photo by Jack Affleck. Very cool. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the February's beer and comics unboxing. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Smash Smash the subscribe if you haven't already, and then comment down below. Until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.